what I'm standing next to right now is a raw crystal asbestos rock. What you see across the front of the rock, the green rock there, is called serpentine. Along one component of that serpentine group is a rock called crystyle. We call it crystal asbestos. The stuff right down the center here is a most pure crystal asbestos vein. Surprising to a lot of people, asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral. Every one of the 50 states has asbestos rocks in it. Depending on which geology you talk to, anywhere from 8 to 12 percent of the Earth's crust is some form of asbestos. So it's pretty common stuff. As the line starts going up out of the Willamette Valley around about Roseburg, you start seeing these little green specks of rock along the side of the road. That's serpentine. We never had large enough veins to really be commercially viable, but certainly it's here in small quantities. What makes the asbestos unique, the chemical resistance, the heat resistance, the fireproofing abilities, the sound of solar ability, were all bonuses. Primarily it was used to hold things together. So in most building construction products, if you wanted a good binder, you use asbestos because it's easy and cheap. Unfortunately, as you break down pieces of asbestos rock, asbestos fibers become smaller and smaller and smaller. And where the problem seems to be is they still keep their fiber-like quality, the crystalline fiber-like quality, and therefore become respiratable particles. Once we get them trapped in the lungs, usually from very high exposures over extended periods of times, then we start seeing some of those asbestos-related diseases.